Good morning. I'm at Panel. Some of you may remember Panel as Refractory, where you had wonderful home-cooked meals. It is, of course, now a gallery. This month, we have exhibit of Joseph Albers, a famous color theorist and artist who used to be part of the Bauhaus movement in Germany until it was forced to shut down in 1933. He came to this country and had a wonderful career at the Met and at Black Mountain College and for decades at Yale University. We are one of the few places on earth with a complete collection of the works that were used in his seminal book called Interaction of Color. Other places that own the copies are uh, the Met and MoMA. And uh, he was a famous theorist who argued that uh, colors are largely illusory as the result of the interaction between its intrinsic properties as well as properties of colors surrounding it. And so we're happy to have the exhibit of that complete collection of works used in his great book, as well as also use the space of this exhibit to host the performance last night, dance performance by Ella and Mark Magruders. As you may know, Ella and Mark are dance professors here who have worked here for decades, very much beloved, and they're retiring at the end of this year. So we honor them and we thank them for decades of their commitment and uh, love uh, that they've given us in this college. March is a very interesting month in a year that happens to be historical, the centennial, of the voting rights for women. When you think about it, we've really come a long way. You know, 100 years ago, women were not only deprived of the rights to vote in many, many states, but also deprived of their right to be educated in many very fine private and public universities in the country. Today, at Sweetbriar, we salute and graduate women who will be dispersed all throughout the country. One will be at the Jet Propulsion Lab of NASA in Pasadena. Another one will be at Boeing. Another one will be at the law school at the University of Tennessee. Yet another one at uh, the Thunderbird School of Management at Arizona State University. Another one at Ohio State University studying to be a vet. At the, pre -vet, at the vet school. Speaking of the vet school, I'm very pleased to tell you that we're still sticking to this incredible track record that nearly all our students who are pre-vets that apply to vet schools get accepted. And you know how hard it is to be accepted by vet schools. Uh, I'm told that it's harder to get into vet schools than to medical schools. We also remember something else. We remember the attempt to close this college. This is the fifth anniversary. We also remember the birthday of the founder of this college, Indiana Fletcher Williams. You know, Indiana was a very interesting woman. She was a businesswoman, she was an intellectual, and she was a kind of preservationist. And uh, you know, she made her money by investing in railroads and uh, in real estate in New York, and she managed a farm that later became the college. And she left a will, as you know, that said that this college will train women to be useful members of our society. Now, useful is an understated, very elegant kind of adjective in my mind. She did not say she wanted women to be trained to be powerful, to be wealthy, to be influential. She wanted them to be useful. So for over 100 years, we did produce women who are useful members of this society. They are women who get things done. 
There are women who know how to roll up their sleeves. There are women who share and give credit rather than simply claim credit. There are women who know how to be collaborative. There are women who know how to encourage each other. And there are women who exercise leadership for yesterday, today, and tomorrow. In honor of these women, we have created the Leadership Corps, which actually is the general education curriculum for Sweetbriar, exemplifying the best of the liberal arts tradition. This March, on the 2nd, we will be raising half a million dollars. And then by the 10th of March, we would have raised another half a million dollars so that we can have altogether million dollars to celebrate the birthday of Indiana Fletcher Williams. I hope very much that you will participate in this campaign to make sure that Sweetbriar remains as excellent as it can be forever. Thank you.